Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, footies feels fun again with the new footies team four that is in packs, the SBCs that we had yesterday, and most importantly, this absolutely incredible footies re-release team number three with some absolutely incredible cards to chase on this game at the moment. It's kicking off in FC24 and footies is feeling more in game, but there's one thing that EA need to do. It revolves around one of our favorite SBCs and it's time that EA do it because if they do, it's going to feel like end game footies content that we are all hoping and wanting to see on this game. So we're going to break all that down from yesterday and looking forward into today on Saturday. There's still big SBCs we're looking forward to and some SBCs refreshing that we need to remember. So if you're enjoying footies at the moment, if you're excited for today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's go to the evolutions yesterday to start things off because the Friday vibes were high, but really the vibes are probably the lowest tier in the evolution section with the dazzling dribbler Evo that we had yesterday. This Darwin Nunez might be one of the best cards that fits it. But of course, a lot of us already have a Darwin Nunez SBC from the Copa Make Your Mark promo. Now, this evolution, the whole point of it is to give a five-star skill boost and to basically give somebody 99 dribbling. I think the whole boost in here for dribbling is like plus 17 if you add it all up. It's a pretty big boost in here. Plus 20 ball control, 10 reactions, 10 uh, composure, and 10 balance and agility even. So it's a good Evo. You get technical plus and trickster plus, but 90 rated maximum. 89 dribbling max stat is a little bit kind of low. Yes, it does give two play style pluses, but trickster plus isn't the best. And when I look at the players in my club that fit this evolution, there's nobody that jumps right off the page to me as like, oh, wow, gotta do this. Like it doesn't create a truly end game card for most of the players that are in this. Now, if there's somebody in here that you're emotional about, this nostalgia for you, or just you really like the player, or maybe there's somebody you've been evolving throughout the year that fits this evolution, that's a club legend for you, then absolutely go ahead and do it. But I don't think think this Evo is hitting as different as maybe some of the other Friday Evos did in the past couple of weeks. This Ginola Evo from the base hero Ginola up to the superhero, the three different versions here, that almost looks as good as the SBC, which we'll talk about here in a minute. But I don't know, guys, the one thing I have to say about Evos is they're still solid and they're still fun. But honestly, with all the SBC players that we're getting and all the cards that are being re-released back into packs, especially yesterday, it really feels like Evos are starting to fall behind because so many other better cards are in the re-releases and in the SBC. So that's just kind of my take on Evos. But if there's somebody that you love, that you have an Evo card that you're working towards to upgrade and they fit in one of the Evos from yesterday or even one of the other ones that will probably come out throughout the weekend, Make sure you go ahead and do it. But Evos to me are just falling behind just a little bit. They started off great during footies, right? But they're falling off just a smidge. Now, let's go to SBC to, since we already mentioned it. Let's start from the top and talk about the big one. David Ginola. He's the big heavy hitter SBC. Only 18 squads, right? Yesterday, right at the content drop, when we saw this, I saw 18 squads and I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be an absolutely incredible SBC. But upon clicking into the SBC, we see the lowest rated squad is a 91 rated squad. And really, this unveiled EA's new strategy for these footies SBCs, kind of the grindable, expensive SBCs that we're all looking for, right? Especially when we think of the Eto and Butrogueno that we just had Butro 24 squads, Eto 32 squads. EA's got a new strategy. To get a 2 million coin SBC, instead of making it that many squads, what they're doing is just starting with all the higher rated squads, releasing even higher rated ones like 93s and more of them to get the value of the SBC that they want, but to also make it not as maybe difficult to craft. Honestly, guys, I'm a fan of this because in my opinion, especially with the batch of cards that is out right now, the 93 rated squads are not going to be that hard to get done, especially with the 84 times 10s, 85 10s, and all of the objective packs that we're going to have and some of the objective players as well and other cheap fodder elsewhere. I actually think it's going to be maybe easier than, to get done than Eto, to be honest. Yes, it's 2.3 million coins. You know, when we're talking about the price and we're talking about the craftability of the SBC, 
you're getting yourself a really insane card here, honestly. If you want to put in that work to get this Ginola done, he is a top, if not the top, hero card in this game, right? He has 99 pace, which is good. I do think they could have boosted up the stats a little bit more. Like, yes, I'm talking about how to craft this card, and I, I, do, I plan on doing this SBC. I really do. Five-star, five-star, really cracked out card. It's the playstyle pluses that really give him the juice as well. Finesse, power shot, technical, and first touch. Unbelievable. And then Ginola always has jam in game. He's always OP. He's got the aura, whatever you want to call it. He's always a beast. I do think, however, that they could have boosted up his like shooting, passing, and dribbling like one or two more, especially in the passing and the dribbling. If he had 98 dribbling and 94 passing, 96 shooting even, I think we'd be looking at this SBC saying, okay, wow, that's a crazy cracked Ginola. Like, it just feels like EA maybe didn't go that 10 out of 10. They went to like 9 out of 10 on this Ginola. But 18 squads, I think for the craftability, especially with what's in packs right now, it's not bad. I think it's craftable. I'm not starting this SBC. You might check out my unassigned here. If we click into the unassigned real quick, I've got a bunch of high rated cards that would literally complete a 93 rated squad easy with what I have in the club as well of that Ginola SBC. But I'm not starting it just yet because I want to see what else comes out, especially because we have that major leak of a Mia Ham SBC. So that's my thoughts on the Ginola. He could have been a little bit higher rated, but I kind of like the way the EA is going with this. I'm really curious to now know if a lot of the top tier SBCs we're going to have from now until the end of the year are going to look like this. Higher rated squads and less of them, or if EA is going to mix it up. Do some squads like we were thinking that Mia Ham might be 40 squads, right? Well, at this rate, she might be 20 to 22 if it's going to be anywhere similar to Ginola. So, that's a question and something we're going to really have to watch going forward is how is EA going to keep structuring these SBCs? Now, let's take a look at the other content that we had yesterday to keep moving through things. We had a Malcolm SBC as well, and honestly, he might be best served as fodder for the Ginola SBC. 95 rated Malcolm, 5 star skills, unless you're a Brazilian or a Saudi League fan, it's an 85 rated squad for a 95 rated player. That's kind of good value fodder at literally 21,000 coins or just go buy 85s, spend 20K, get yourself a 95 rated and put them in the Ginola. That's going to help you get that SBC done. So that one's there and it's not too crazy, but it's there. We also had the 92 plus player pick refresh. They added team four of footies as we expected them to do. And it's even the same requirements. 87, 88 rated squad, no team of the week. No team of the season. Easy peasy. If you're still chasing some of those PTG make your mark cards, this is the place to be getting them. Or maybe footies from team one, two, and three, which are now out of packs. This is the pick that will still be popular throughout the week to be crafting those. I have no issues with this, to be completely honest. However, the 94 plus pick, if you did not drop into content yesterday and get it done right away, the 94 plus pick did refresh. There's another pack refreshing today as well. But I would do the 94 plus pick before going and doing those. 92s because that one is of course more limited on time and of course completions than the 92 plus pick now also yesterday we had a cheeky upgrade sbc called a draft token upgrade you might not even care about this but it actually kind of matters and i want to talk about that next i want to go to objectives usually we talk about objectives first but i think the objectives that were dropped yesterday actually deserve a little bit more conversation because we actually have a lot of cards in here and some of them are good for fodder, and some of them are good for your main team. This Zola card might be one of the best objective players of footies entirely. And it's not that hard to get. The footies draft play. Guys, they're getting us to play draft again. And honestly, this objective's not that hard. You have one week to play eight matches in draft and to win eight online, which is going to be pretty easy because we'll all get at least one draft entry per day via that draft token upgrade if you need to get that done. If you're anything like me, maybe you've been stacking draft like um, tokens and draft redeems because I have not played draft like at all this year. I had 16 draft entries when I went in yesterday to just fill out a draft because I hadn't filled one out in forever. And this is the team that I got because I was really curious to see what the quality of the teams were going to look like. And I did get some pretty good cards. I got the 0.7% Messi. I've got uh, Frimpong. I've got Dino. R9, of course, on the bench. We've got Henri and Zico. So it doesn't look like the weight on the cards is like all end game players like we're using in our team. It does seem like it's pretty mixed up. 
But I think that draft objective is actually really worth it for the Zola that you get. I mean, that's a crazy card. We all know Zola, kind of just like the Ginola, is a very, very meta card all the time. Finesse, technical, rapid, dead ball, plus five star, five star. He's going to be absolutely juiced. I think this is an objective actually worth trying for if you want to just mess around with draft. I know it's a game mode that does not get a lot of love, and really we only play it when at the very beginning of the game, when the game first comes out, and then when EA you know, give us objectives like this, I think it's actually worth going for. You also get a Lacazette inside of this, which is a decent card, and then your best packs are an 87-4, 85-4, 84 times 10, and an 83 times 10, and then of course Zola for winning the whole thing. So I'm kind of I'm kind of down for that. It's something different. I might even play this instead of Weekend League, because it'll probably require around the same number of games as Weekend League will take, and uh, you get almost like better packs. You just don't get the higher player picks that are guaranteed cards, but a lot of the cards that are in player picks from Weekend League now, are also in the batch three re-release so anyways back to the objectives we have footies dodo 95 rated card best part about this is there's a thousand xp for playing five matches with three syria players and assisting five goals with the brazilians that's there as well as a daily play again a ton of players a ton of footies players and objectives right now guys this 98 gioro is the overall reward this is an insane objective card to be honest five star five star midfielder with anticipate Energizer Plus and Incisive Pass Plus, also with the Intercept regular playstyle and some other passing playstyles, 98 rated. That's an amazing card. Also, 1,000 XP inside of here and three 96 rated footies cards. Guys, this is I almost just feels like EA giving us free fodder to complete the big player SBCs like Ginola, maybe like the Mia Ham that's going to be coming out. Now, if you want to use these players, Thais Ferreira, um, Ane Azucona, and Rosa Marquez, absolutely go ahead and do it. But I think for a lot of us, these are just free 96 rated cards that will go boom, straight into an SBC, and we'll be able to craft 93 rated squads with ease with this fodder. So that's nice. All you have to do for this is play the game, three games per day, five different times during the week. You get 1,000 XP, all four cards, and some pretty good fodder in a couple packs along the way. That's honestly really solid. Like, <laughs> that's a really solid day of objectives, to be honest, with the Zola, with the Gioro, and all the players, and the XP, and the packs. GG's to EA. There's actually some stuff worth doing inside of that now let's talk about the cards in packs footies team number four it does of course represent basically spot on all the leaks that we had yesterday we've got sawa 99 salah 99 alex morgan 99 and a dda drug but 98 it's a pretty good team now is team three better than this with the ronaldo that we had with the vincent company with the sam kerr with the rio ferdinand looking back on it and now seeing the cards I think I would say yes. I think that Team 3 was better than Team 4. But to be honest, we're, we're not talking about Team 4 as much as we are the re-release of cards that have been put back into packs, right? That's where the hype is. Now, quickly, for these cards, I just want to mention... A lot of them are overpriced, and of course, they are pretty difficult to pack, like Alex Morgan, 3 mil, Drogba, 3 mil, Sawa, 99 is really rare, 3.4 mil, uh, Felix is 400,000 coins. You know, there are some that are very packable low, like this lower tier here. We've got a new Julie card. We've got the Barella card, which is really cheap. That's a cheap beast, to be completely honest. Casemiro looks halfway decent, and there are some other cards they look halfway decent inside of the actual footies team. But I have to imagine that most of these cards, like Ona Bate, she's really cheap. She's probably going to drop off more in value today. So that's the one thing I'd say. Don't mess around with these. Let their prices drop as they should. Now, speaking of price drops, this is where things go crazy. And this is where a lot of prices, guys, are falling like mad. If you were able to prepare and sell some of these cards from Team of the Tournament, maybe Path to Glory, maybe some of the greats of the game icons that we were saying, please sell earlier this week, you saved yourself potentially millions of coins. Guys, this Mbappe, who was literally not on the market for weeks, is now 9 million coins this mbappe that was extinct at 15 million four weeks guys is 9.1 million coins look at him on the market there's pages of supply there for him and oh it just it doesn't stop there everywhere guys jude bellingham we're taking a look at the top tier cards right now he was 4.5 million coins yesterday what is he right now 2.5 million coins it gets even better right and golo Conte was 600 he's now 200,000 coins bruno fernandez as we mentioned was 300,000 coins plus 360 
went all the way down to 73,000 coins. The team of players that is in packs does include a lot of the team of the tournament, guys. It does. And that means a lot of these prices are tanking. Of course, Messi from 10 million to 4 million. Lautaro from 1.3 to 500k. Uh, Rafinha from 1.1 mil to 400k. Vinicius Jr., who I was actually able to pack yesterday right away when he was still technically 3 million coins. He's down to 1.6 million coins. Crazy, crazy price drop on him. And of course, huge pack bull here for us. This card, I thought he was a fraud at first. Whenever I played against him, I was able to cook him and kind of uh, contain his card. But that finesse plus is unbelievable with him and so is his technical plus so i'm excited to try him out that's three fridays in a row that i've gotten so lucky last friday with ronaldo 97 this friday with 97 Vinny. we're gonna keep crafting and ripping the 83 times 10s or 84 times 10s and 85s because we are not done yet but that's part of the end game vibe right anyways a lot of prices are down like crazy it's just honestly it's fun to go take a look at some of these graphs and just see how much the cards have ronaldinho like for goodness sake man this guy was 13 mil yesterday and now he's 6 mil 13.3 and now he's 6 million coins the best part about all this is if you've been waiting to buy one of these cards or these were unaffordable to you well guess what here's your opportunity Vieira, 2.1 mil 1.3 zinedine zidane how much was he he's 1.5 he was 3.5, down 2 million coins. So that's the best part about this. It is endgame. And these cards are going to drop lower, all right? If you're looking to buy somebody for your team to try out, like you're like, Nate, I can finally afford 99 Messi. Like literally, this was me just a little bit ago. I was like, oh my gosh, I can afford Messi because he was always 10 mil, never had enough coins. Well, here we are. He's 3.99. He's probably going to drop further. We know how this worked with Batch 2. Guys like the Neymar, guys like the Tots Messi, and others. Team of the Year Ronaldo last week, they just dropped for the whole two weeks of the year in packs. This Batch 2 is in packs for two weeks. So the prices will continue to go down. But buy the card. It's August. It's mid-August. Buy the card. Use it for the games you want to use it for. Sell it for whatever it's worth when you're done and enjoy the game to the fullest right now. That would be my advice to you. If you want to see the full list of cards that is in packs, I will put that down below in the description of this video so you can check through it. There's like 190-something cards in packs. Really, the only thing that we noticed is they didn't re-release a lot of Team of the group stage, not sorry, not team of the group stage, Path to Glory. A lot of Path to Glory cards did not get re-released. Thing, same thing with Make Your Mark. So these cards yesterday were getting panic sold into content, right? Stones was 1.5, went down to 1.3, and then after content, since he wasn't re-released, went flying back up in price, but now they're kind of coming back down again. That's the only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed with with this best of batch is... Yes, there's a lot of team of tournament cards in here, but I think they should have taken out some of the middle to lower tier. Why do we still have Thunderstruck cards? Why do we still have um, like Golazos and Foot Birthdays and Fantasies and Winter Wild cards and Road to the Knockouts? I get it. Maybe it's some low tier pack filler, but I wish we had a few more of these cards like the Path to Glories and the Make Your Marks that a lot of us would still love an opportunity to pack from the pack grind. Wish a few more of those were in packs. But regardless... It is a really good set of cards, man. For two weeks, you have the opportunity to chase Teo, Jude, 98 Mbappe, 99 Messi, Dino, R9. And I got tweeted so many polls yesterday, guys. I know it's like, oh, Nate, so hard to pack them. But honestly, if EA do what they should do with 84 times 10 and 85 times 10s, it'll be possible. Now, here's what I want to talk about. With this batch as well, what you'll notice is... There's a lot of Tots cards, and that is exactly what we expected. You scroll through here, you see Tots, Tots Moments, Tots Plus, like a lot of different versions of Team of the Seasons. And when you're opening packs, you'll probably notice as well that Tots cards are very packable. And that is what we were expecting. That's why we talked about it. And that's really why I did not want to invest in Team of the Season cards this week. And they're now 15,000 coins, and I'm very glad that I did not invest because... They are down like crazy just because they're so packable. They're everywhere in 84 times 10s, 85 times 10s, even 82 plus player picks. You'll get the team of the season cards. If you do a set of 10 player picks, I bet you're honestly getting a TOTS card almost every set of 10. So no more do you really need to go out to the market to buy a TOTS card or to do a team of the week player pick. You're probably just packing it from one of the daily upgrade packs. And that's amazing. That's a sign that it is truly end game. So these cards... They're cooked. They're mudded. Now, I will say this. 
in terms of the TOTS cards, they're still going to be needed. We're still going to have 8410s, 8510s, you know, icon picks that require them. An icon picks refreshing today. The one that came out last Sunday, it's going to refresh another time. Could these go up a little bit? Maybe. Would I invest in TOTS cards? Probably not. But you could see on maybe some of the higher rated ones. Of course, they were 40K yesterday. They even went up a little bit of content, but they've been absolutely destroyed since then, which is kind of what we were expecting to happen. We were talking about it on stream as well. Um, these cards, TOTS cards, maybe go up to like 20K, 22K maximum today, but they're probably during the rest of the week just going to go straight back down because everybody's packing them. Nobody needs to buy them as much anymore because of how packable they are in packs. So that is not. Nice from a pack opening perspective, but it just kind of also signals the end of our incredible opportunity that we have had over the past month on this game to buy team of the season cards every single week and make a bunch of coins. So it's a lot more risky to trade with those since they are more packable, but it was a good run. Now let's talk rest of the SPC fodder market right now for a really quick minute. Fodder is like minimum price. 84s, 5s, 6s, 7s are all minimum price. Even 88s are darn near minimum price right now. And honestly, do I want to invest in it? Not really. 84s and 85s maybe would be a place where fodder would spike up a little bit, just again for the same type of low-rated fodder that we would need to finish off some of the SBCs. But at least right now, I don't really want to invest in it, guys, to be completely honest, because it's gonna. we're going to have to wait and see what upgrade pack today to, what we, to see what we get before we decide on that. So I'm not investing in fodder anymore. It's probably chalked for almost the rest of the game a bar maybe a movement or two on some team of the seasons which probably would not net you as many coins as it would have in the last couple of weeks so again we can kind of wave goodbye to the weekly tots investing how fun that was how great that was but for right now it's probably over but again that does also mean there's a bright side that you can pack tots cards a lot more and i will take that over making a bunch of coins on tots cards since we've been able to do that for like the past three weeks now the biggest thing let's talk today we've been yapping too much about yesterday yada 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 let's talk about today guys saturday what's footies on a saturday gonna bring to us on this day of content now firstly player sbc that's one of the most important things we still have this mia ham leaked she was not dropped yesterday we had janola of course she is still a leak i would have to guess especially because today i believe is the gold medal match um for the u.s women I mean, this has got to be, this has got to be a part of the content today. It would make sense. I mean, I'm talking Olympics here, which I know is not really taken seriously in terms of the uh, football calendar at the moment, but this is a big game. And I honestly think that it should be highlighted today. I think it'd be a great idea for EA to drop that. So if we get a Mia hand today, let's be honest, what are we going to look at here? For a rating and for a requirement probably similar to the ginola you know i was thinking like 40 or 50 squads for mia ham but honestly who knows it's going to depend on the rating if they juice her even past ginola and make her even more insane could she be like 20 squads 25 squads with a lot of 93s maybe but that is a card that i will 100 percent be doing because usa and because she is so freaking good in game she's amazing i use her base icon card i talked about it yesterday i'm not going to yap about it more her card in game is stupid good i don't even want to see what the playstyle pluses are going to be she's going to be amazing so i'm hoping that that's today it could be somebody else we're going to get a good player sbc today because the fridays again fridays saturdays and sundays always great for the player sbcs so be watching out for that but the real big thing for today is EA needs to go unlimited with the 84 times 10. I know you're like, Nate, 84 10? Shouldn't it go away and we have the 85 10 unlimited? EA's not going to let us go that fast, right? Two weeks in a row now of the 84 times 10 being repeatable five times per day. I'm done with it. It's time for the unlimited repeatable. If they're going to drop a Ginola with all the 93 rated squads, and yes, put all those cards in packs, they need to give us an unlimited repeatable 84 times 10 because it's about that time. If they're going to open the floodgates, the end game content, kind of like they started to do yesterday, it's about time they do this as well. So that's what I'm hoping for. If it's anything less than unlimited for the 84 times 10, I'll be a little bit disappointed. Also, I hope that the 85 times 10 comes back maybe three times a day. That would be a great supplement to an unlimited 84 times 10. There's a difference between the 85 and the 84. By the way, 85 times 10s are so much more clear with the special cards. 84 times 10s, you'll get one or two where you have like 
nine golds and one special 85 times 10 that never happens like you're always getting at least three or four or five special cards from these 85 tens they're just in a whole different world clear since there's so many 84s that are not a part of the pack equation so i think the 85 tens will come back probably three times a day and the 84 times 10 unlimited if they make the 84 times 10 10 times repeatable today I'm going to have an issue with it because it needs to be unlimited repeatable. I went back on the calendar last year. This is the exact same time of weekend where the 84 times 10 became unlimited. They don't need to change your requirements. They can keep requiring a TOTS card, right? Because TOTS cards are in everybody's club now and they're all 15,000 coins anyway. Keep requiring them. We don't care. We'll get the TOTS uh, in the club, in the SBC, and the 84 10s unlimited. Guys, if they release the unlimited 84 10 today, it'll literally be every single one that you open will pay for the next one that's the best part about it because you'll probably get a tots card every single time you just put that tots right back into the sbc put one or two other specials fill out the rest of it with a couple of 84s and then some other like 80 rated from your club from doing exchanges and maybe a couple 82s from the fodder 82 plus picks that you do and you'll just be able to rip 84 tens over and over and over and craft any SBC you'll, you'll ever want to do and including the icon picks the 92 pluses on repeat and whatever player SBCs that they put out that's the hope that's what an unlimited 84 times 10 can do it would literally unlock the end game of footies with the cards we have in packs right now it'd give you unlimited chances of packing Dino, uh r9 zidane all these insane cards and the 99s from footies like that's what we want that is literally what we want because it's the middle of august ea just do it. This is the last time we're going to ask because you should drop it today and we'll have conversations later if you don't. So that's the thing for today. We need that unlimited 84 times 10 because guys, honestly, if you remember how it was last year with an unlimited 84 ton with this stuff in packs, oh, it is the best. Now, speaking of SBCs we can craft though today, there are a couple SBCs refreshing that will probably garner some attention. That would be the guaranteed team of the tournament footies team one, two, or three upgrade that was dropped last Wednesday. It's refreshing and coming back. This one was an 85 and an 86 rated. Does require a team of the season. Really easy to get done. This one's a must do today as well. Give you a shot at a footies 99, albeit a very bad percentage of that happening, but a regular team of the tournament card as well. You might as well do it why not also the 93 plus icon pick i still have one more that i could do but this is going to be refreshing today as well two more times before it goes away tomorrow and sunday so you have another chance of another chance at packing dino um and r9 from this SBC right here, also some of the footies icons you'll be able to get as well. So that's refreshing today. The guaranteed, we're expecting a player SBC and the 84 times 10s going crazy. Also, we have to shout this out. We still don't have Pop or Cordoba anywhere to be found. I was expecting them to drop as a part of content yesterday, and they are nowhere and my game just bugged out but you still oh actually you don't see it now um pop is not in concepts i'm gonna have to reset the game because it literally just bugged but pop is not in concept so i don't know what's going on there maybe they're going to be released at some point this week during team number four batch three of footies as well but guys that's a video for today hands folded prayers up for an 84 times 10 unlimited today i will see you guys around the content drop i won't be on stream but i will be checking in and will be tweeting if the 84 times 10 is unlimited repeatable but if you enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment that below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new let me know how you're feeling about the content from this game at the moment with the new footy stuff want to hear your guys feedback and comments as always best of luck playing draft best of luck playing weekend league and i'll see you guys in a video tomorrow it's been nathan foot account and catch you guys there peace out